Dungeon know, Doom Hands Let's right Talk Lore, and a podcast. Something stupid. Welcome back to... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's Talk Lore. Okay, so if you were tuning into our last uh, session, we've decided to make the NPC of um, the either the mad scientist or the doctor who is trying to figure out how to kill one of Doomhand's zombies. Now, I've said this before. Doomhand zombies are going to be so- something that I slowly... So going back to two sessions ago about the theme, mm-hmm. I'm slowly going to be building, bringing the zombies into Trigard. You're going to start seeing them. Or maybe maybe they're, you they're start seeing... Slipping through the cracks. Yeah, well, people don't know what they, you know, what they mean. They, they know that there are zombies, but they don't know that what kind of zombies they are. And so mm-hmm. this guy, this guy has... Uh, has captured one. He is a physician of some kind. Um, mad or not mad. That's up to interpretation. And he's trying to figure out uh, how to do it. How to how to kill him. Um, that's his. That's what he's been uh, told to do by the low, low, low. I guess. Um, with that said, roll his name. Uh-oh. What am I rolling? Uh, I think you're rolling a d20, and I gotta get. D20. And I'm gonna oh, get our okay. our handy dandy, the game master's uh, book of non-player characters, as per usual what we do. Um, yes. Awesome book, and I also have their uh, random tables. I really, they also have one for traps. Um, I have the uh, Amazon um, uh, storefront, which I'll drop in the comments. Um, but you can also just go and purchase them on Amazon yourselves if you don't have them, but the, these books happen to be pretty good. Um, all right, so outskirt for. outposts. What kind of... Big city. Yeah, I big city. I think it would be a big city denizen. Big city, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where are you, 98? Yeah, 98. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> First name. Yeah, where's my uh Where's my D20? Ah, oh, this might be you. This might be you. Do I have a D20 in there? Well, they've got all types of D20s. I rolled a 10. All right. Well, his okay. Name. His first name. That's perfect. Is on page 98 is Cardigan. I'm going to write zombie doctor so I know who the hell we're talking about. Um, Cardigan. And let me get my D20. I feel like I had one here, and my daughter just decided it was hers. Give me one second. What happens? Well, this zombie doctor. Oh, there he is. Zombie doctor. Zombie Doctor. Zombie Doctor Cardigan. Paging Zombie Doctor Cardigan. Um, I, I, I can picture his his laboratory right now. You walk in, there's the plastic curtains in a, like a warehouse. You have a cage that's in a, a plastic a bubble around that. A whole bunch of uh, air filtration units. <laughs> Oh, weird yeah. machines go- working. <laughs> Bubbles. Um, mm-hmm. Cardigan, I'm going to go to the next page. Uh, one, 100 and 101. Cardigan 5. Cardigan Boondy. Great. Um, Cardigan Boondy and this is an important one that you should roll. He's going to be, um, actually, you know, we'll we'll roll his uh, physician guild name after, after at the end. I think that'll be hilarious. Yeah. All right, Cardigan Boondi, um, or should we call him Boondi? Cardigan Boondi, Doctor Boondi. Well, here's here's a question before I answer that. What uh, what what species race is Cardigan Bund something? If you were a, if you were a dwarf king like Lolololo, 
would your would your doctor be a dwarf as well? Or, is it his personal doctor? I think this is a is his personal doctor probably yes. I don't think this is a personal but, doctor. No. I, I think you'd get someone on the fringes. So Yeah, someone who sees maybe, maybe someone who's not like or like brought in or has been there for a little bit. So maybe you have an elf. I think it should be a drow. A drow, yeah. That works. I think he should be a drow. He's seen some things. He's from the Underdark. So he knows all about yeah. bodies. Um, all right. Brief description. Cardigan also, Boondai. Boondi, Boondai. Yeah, Boondai. Boondai. Bye. I'm going to write capital I. Seventeen. Cardigan Boondai with lilting mellifluous mellifluous voice. I don't even know how to pronounce that. With a lifting mellifluous voice, a heart-shaped face, and nimble fingers. So I'm assuming he sounds like a stereotypical uh-huh. young young doctor. I'm going to have to look up a word. Mellifluous? Yeah. That's S- S-A-T. S-A-T word. Sweet Def- or musical? Oh! He's a bard. Heart-shaped face and nimble fingers. Sounds like a bard. A drow, bard, zombie doctor, <laughs> cardigan, boondai. Drow, bard. All right. And uh, with lilting, mellifluous voice, a heart shaped face, and nimble fingers, his wants and needs are I'm going to go to the other page, 14. Who wants to start an urban walking tour company? <laughs> so he really doesn't want to. He wants to start a urban walking tour company. That's his hobby. Wants and he, needs. It's his hobby that he wants to yeah. turn into his job because he's getting overwhelmed with. Being his only people he talks to are zombies all day because no one else wants to work with him. He's a drow, and everyone's sort of afraid of him. But mm-hmm. listen, drows have seen some things. I'm sure they know how to give a tour. Mm-hmm. Um, roll, roll his uh, secret or he, uh, obstacle. He he uh, knows that old man. Which old man? The old man in the t- city who wants to give us a a tour for eight gold. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's that's his competitor. That's his competitor. <laughs> he took him on a tour and he thinks he can do better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to write old man tour so maybe I can circle back to that. That's a, <laughs> this is how you create a, an NPC. You have a little something that's already in the story so he feels like he fits. Uh, what's his secret or obstacle? I'm on page... Go to third page. Third yeah, page. Oh, there's a third page. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Oh yes. Go ahead. Oh, what a natural twenty. Oh boy. And, and is counting on the kindness of strangers. Here's here's your competition. Is the old man charges too much, and he wants to do it on a donation base. Thinks Pete wants to do it by for tips, and thinks that he uh. It'll be a successful business. Someone in Lolo Lowe's cabinet has um, gotten him to study the zombies with a uh, promise that if he figures it out, he will get they will he will help him start his walking tour company. But he has to rely on the kindness of strangers, a.k.a. the players, 
to shrink down and get and inside that him. and help him. Mm, I love it. And Perfect. he and he carries two hand axes and a bottle of incredibly strong mead. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, that's great. That is that is good. Oh man, I gotta figure out his accent now. I'm gonna love this guy. Um Oh, we still have something else we need to roll. His 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 guild name. Oh yeah, go for it. It's gonna be uh an eight. D eight. Do I have a D eight? I don't have a D eight out right now. What? Guild name. So this is going to be his physician's guild name. I have the perfect die for this roll. Where are you? Now, hold on. Is this is this is this a guild name that he has from the Underdark? Oh, that's nice. I see that. My D eight. Yeah. Is this the, this is a guild? This is how this is the guild that he belongs to in Trigard. How he how he became a doctor. How he. Um... Who hired him? Of like, cause yes, yes, yeah. Who yeah. who brought him in? The the minister of medical or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. has a guild named mm-hmm. like the the governmental name given to it. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. One d one d eight. It's a three. Fixers. The Physicians Guild of the Fixers has hired Cardigan Boondi to solve the... Um, I was hoping that you would have had Sisterhood of the Healing Touch, but <laughs> <laughs> we have to settle with Fixers, though. Well, that's the... Uh, there. There's another one called that in the city. Oh, he yeah. He really wants to work for... Yeah, he's starting out. He's 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 not really the, the, quite. The fi- the fixers are a, a low upcoming one, the only one that would accept a drow in their work. Yes, and that's why his uh his um his office or his uh, workshop is so run down and sketch. He tried to join the Sisterhood of the Healing Touch and got mm-hmm. rejected, and then he started thinking to himself, "Why am I even doing this? I should just." I should just start oh, my no. own urban walking, <laughs> urban walking tour. Um, and he takes a swig of his mead. Um, yeah. Excellent. Let's roll some stats. So you got strength. Oh, yeah. Dex. Con. Intel. Wisdom. And charisma. Now, he is... And I'm gonna enjoy playing this guy. I think he, I'm gonna debate whether or not, um, he goes with you guys, um, on this journey. But I feel like he's probably gonna have to stay behind it because some to monitor, get yeah, the, monitor the, the signs and to get pull you guys out. Yeah. Um. All right. The four. Four d six. Four d six. Drop the lowest. Uh. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Let's see. One. Two, I'm going to do strength. Here we go. He has a 14 strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cardigan. His dex. Dr. Boondi. My uh, kissing no dice. Nice. Uh, that's a 11. Paging strong, dexterous. Dr. Boondi, maybe he's going to have some hot nurses. This, this con save will... Mm. And you're thinking about his nurse, nurses. No way. He got he got rejected from the Sisterhood of the Healing yeah. Touch. His nurses are not... No, he has a... He has a... Uh, an Igor. Yes. Yeah. A female Igor, though. It doesn't have to be a male. Like, we're not sexist. Sure. There. Um, 13. It's pretty good con. For, like, listen, it's not, yeah. this guy's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, you you would think that he he would have some a decent con working with zombies. Yeah. And his uh, female Igor Igra. These, these next three rolls are going to be very funny. 
His intelligence? Yeah. Not good. Oh, not great. Not terrible. That's a 10. <laughs> so he's... That's why it was rejected. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he thought it was the drow. It's really his... just doesn't have any the stats. Yeah. Wisdom. So intelligence would know... He would know that he got rejected because of the stats, but he doesn't because he's, he's not intelligent. Well, it's like he... Yeah. Wisdom would be... Well, he and also wisdom is like the medicine is... skill, right? So it could be like he inherently knows how to do it, or only knows how to do it, like well, the the draw way. He has an eight. Well, <laughs> well, not. He got an well, eight. He, I got three he, twos, he's a, he's a three twos, and a four. That's hilarious. He's a drunk. He's a bard. He's a drunk. Yeah, he's a drunk. Trying Let's to, see. he is a tour guide giver. A nine. <laughs> okay, he's not very charismatic. So yeah. he's he should really be a tour guide. Oh yeah. Um, and, and he he somehow convinced someone that he could do this to get the the licensing or the money or whatever. Because he um, he has to rely on the kindness of strangers. Mm-hmm. Because he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's an idiot. That's so he wants to start an urban an urban walking tour. He's not very smart. He doesn't. It's not that he's. These aren't really horrible roles, but. I mean, the wisdom is pretty bad. He uh, he has a he has a nice voice, but what mm-hmm. he says is not very charismatic. He drinks a lot, and he's a drow, and he's part of the fixers. This guy, to, the old man, does the daytime tours, and he thinks he can do a nighttime tour because he's drow and has a sunlight sensitivity. Yeah. Yes. And boy, are they! Maybe you guys run into him giving a, a, a nighttime tour. That would be hilarious. Um, yeah, we 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 decide we run into him at night. Decide to take the nighttime tour because the we didn't trust the daytime guy. And he uh, tells us all about his work and wanting to go off on his own. Aaron is going to shiv this guy as soon as I say nighttime tour. Uh, <laughs> Everyone else is going going to as well. They'll just think free brains. Yeah, uh, that's hilarious. All right. Well, so Cardigan Boondi. I can't wait to put his um to see what what photos uh, I can I can make uh, of him. I wonder. Um. Uh oh. Here's the other thing about um we were talking about in the earlier session. Um. So I will tag this this particular let's talk lore with the previous one about um, Aaron's character. Uh, and you know what? I think I just forgot that what I was going to ask. Um, it happens. I think with the uh, skulls and stuff, I, it's just going to be very, it's going to be awesome. I just don't even know how complex that's going to be and like how jealous Matt's going to be about not having his gray skull, which is going to be insane oh, to find. We're going to want, no, our goal after we finish in try hard is to go find his. Yeah. Or, or you could do the black, which is cool too. So, um, Booter, Booter the black. Booter my, oh, can't be that's black what I was, hero. that's what I was going to say. So, um, the, Aaron's patron wants souls. Aaron is going to be attacking those with souls. Booterbot's character, his backstory, his reason for being right now is not is up for grabs. Um, mm-hmm. We'll let Booter decide what that is. But I know that he has said that his robot warforged being mm-hmm. is is doesn't know whether or not he has a soul that's going to be interesting because we'll i don't i don't kill him. i don't think that um it is undecided i don't think quite honestly aaron's 
is going to be attacking or tar- targeting Budabad for or maybe. I mean, may, or maybe yeah, maybe maybe you need to get rid of him because he doesn't. He's a protector. That's yeah. gonna be so cool. Oh my god, PvP. It's gonna be a big <laughs> test of PvP. Well, it's gonna it's gonna be Aaron, not as himself. You guys are gonna have but a hard he, time, but he's gonna Aaron. play it. You guys are gonna have a hard yeah. time with it because I'm not gonna let you guys. I mean, he has all these. He has all these magic weapons that he can use the horn of Valhalla I mean it's not well he just not he needs to not roll well on the number of people that could pop out I think uh, it rolls like a 1d12 people pop out or something yeah but also maybe I just have a rust monster <laughs> show up we we were so close to selling all of this stuff i know and we did do it thank you for um joining us uh tonight um roll high and subscribe um that's how you build an npc by the way we do this every every other week um we talked about a bunch of stuff what, a, what an awesome awesome night we talked about uh, campaign, how to build a campaign, and we actually did it in the second session a lot better than the first one with the skull yeah. with the skull stuff. So a lot of lore drops there in the second one. Um, these will be reposted um, on the various social media accounts. Drop us a line if you want. Um, I'm Spencer, and th- oh, this is Chris. Um, I'm Chris, and join us on our Discord too. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk lore there as well. Um, See you next time.